Leadership team, here's another combination you guys can practice. Again, still based off of using my rebound hand and my bumper hand. Um, hopefully you guys watched the first drill that I sent out because that had more of the explanation into it as far as what this hand is and the purpose of it. And then do the second drill and now third drill. So the first drill was starting from open, going to closed. The second drill was starting in a closed position. This third drill is gonna be starting low. So I'm gonna go from low, I'm gonna do my, my upward strike into my downward strike. And I wanna use this opposite hand again so that it can bounce or rebound off and immediately come back for a second strike rather than wasting space, wasting time, wasting movements. I wanna get there as quick as I can. So I'm gonna be starting wherever I wanna start, but eventually I'm gonna work my stick down and I wanna come up, I'm gonna swing upward first. Now anytime you do an upward strike, you wanna make sure that you rotate your wrist um, upward or your palms upward. If I swing this upward and my palm is down and I hit something with resistance, I hit my opponent's arm, their stick, their leg, their body, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna wind up disarming myself and we know that's no good in combat sparring because we immediately have given our, our opponent a point. So on my upward strikes, I wanna make sure that I flip my palm up so that way when I do hit something, it's pushing it into my palm instead of out of my palm. So, makes sense. So wherever you're starting from that constant movement, I eventually wanna work my stick down here by my leg. I'm going to do first my upward strike, and this could be just a, a setup, a fake, um, get your opponent to react, or you could really move in and actually try to hit their arm, their elbow, uh, their body with their upward strike. It's however you would like to use it, and it could be used in many different ways. But I wanna start with that upward swing. Now, instead of bringing it all the way back to my body, because remember, my opponent's in front of me, now I've wasted all that space. And then to come back, uh, uh, it's gonna be too much time in between strike one and strike two. Now I have given my opponent a half a second to be able to hit me. I don't want to give my opponent any time to be able to hit me. So as I swing this up, this hand's going to come out so I can rebound off of it and come for my downward strike. Now when I do my downward strike, opposite of upward strike, I want my palms up for up. I want my palms down for down. So again, when I hit my target, it's pushing the stick into my hand instead of out of my hand. So I have my upward strike here, but I don't want to bring it all the way back to my shoulder because again, look how much space is in between my shoulder where my stick ended and where I'm trying to come back and hit this person in the arm, the shoulder, the head, whatever it is. That's a good three, four feet. Now that I have to, 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 to cover that space. So I want to eliminate at least half of that, probably even more by just pushing this hand out and using it as a bumper, using it as a rebound. So instead of one, two, one, two, now it's one, two, one, two, one, two. I'm using that hand to bounce off. And again, practicing this drill, the second drill, the first drill, all those drills is going to help you because it does take a lot of coordination to get that hand out there at the right moment and pull it back. Because I'm not leaving it out there because then I get hit as we've talked about many times before. So I want to push it out, I get, not now, not yet, not now, right about now, and then pull it back. So I wanna make sure that it comes out just when it's needed. No point in having my hand out there now, and then now is too late, so just when it's needed. Just when it's needed, here, here. And from back here, I can again use that first strike as a, as a setup just to kinda of clear the space. Even if I'm not really trying to hit anything, because maybe I'm too far away with that first strike, I can use it to come in and then hit the top of the head or the shoulder, the hand, whatever's open. So again, I can start in whatever position and then once I'm ready, kind of work my hand down and then here I am. One, here comes that hand, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, right? So this is drill number three. Hopefully you watched one with more of an explanation and then of course two. Practice them all. Drill one from open to closed. Drill two was two close sided strike. And drill three was coming from down, working up and down. So practice these uh, at home. Get faster, 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 better, better, better. Time that hand perfectly to come out just when you need it. And uh, we'll see you guys in class.